بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما the next thing let's see how stp works so i'll be taking a simple example of three switches here abc and if you see when this pc tries to communicate it will go from switch b to a a to c this is a normal flow and in this there is no loops because there is only one path right there is only one path so if a broadcast packet goes it will go and stop here it will not come back here because we don't have end end links at the same time we don't want this kind of scenario because uh, this will there is no redundancy right if any switch fails like switch a fails then it is going to um, it's going to be a single point of failure now just to avoid that we connect one more link like here i'm assuming that we are connecting one more link from switch b to c now this will create loops now this is going to create the loops right so now we will we'll try to understand how the stp is going to work in this scenario of course any scenario it's going to work the same way but this is our main scenario we'll try to understand additionally i'll be using some slightly different scenarios uh, to get more in depth understanding on the stp process so the stp is going to simply pick which interface will be in the forwarding and which interface will be in the blocking state so now we need to decide which path is forwarding which path will be blocking to prevent the loops in this scenario okay so the criteria will be there are three steps process so the first step it is going to select the root bridge second step it is going to select the root port and the final step will be selecting the designated or the non designated ports so these are the three steps we'll see one by one starting with the first step now again uh, here most of the terminology i'll be using bridges because the stp was created even before the switches was introduced so technically when you see bridge term you need to understand that it is referred to switch okay so wherever i'm using like like i'll say a uh, root bridge when i say root bridge you need to understand it's like a root switch so whenever i say a uh, root port root port of course a uh, root port not root port if i say bridge id term you need to understand it's like switch id okay so typically the term is like interchangeable uh, because in the naming wise we still call it as a bridge here but technically here we are not talking about bridges bridges are gone bridges are the earlier devices of switches now typically we use only switches in today's networks okay so just remember that when i say bridge nothing but it's a switch <coughs> 